What's up, Santa here. I recently made a video where I showed my phone and a few of you were asking how I set up my phone to look like this. So I want to show you pretty minimalist as well, which is pretty nice. I mean, I love being able to just have this as my main screen and there's nothing else. If I ever need to find another app that is not one of these symbols, I just scroll up and I can search for it. So Obsidian, as you can see, I have a pretty weird keyboard, which I'm also going to be talking about. I have this nice way to access other applications. So for instance, this one that I access quite often, turns off my light, you know, stuff like that. I can swipe left and open my calculator to do my favorite calculations. I can swipe right and open my camera. And there you are, say hello, pretty meta. So yeah, let me walk you through because it definitely took me a while to get to this point and I really like it and I hope you will too. So let's get to it. So the first up that I'll show you is how to get this aesthetic. You know, you have the wallpaper and you have a couple of symbols or text and you can actually scroll up and search whatever app that you're looking for. And whenever you're done typing, it's just going to open it, right? So this one is called O Launcher, just like that. And it's called O Launcher Minimal AF. AF actually means ad free, which is a nice fact to know. I didn't realize at first. And yeah, let me just show you. So if you go to the Play Store, which I'm just going to use O Launcher Play Store right there we can type it like O Launcher all together. That's where it will show up in the top. So there it is, of course, install it. So I already have O Launcher downloaded, which here I'm just gonna change and my default setup for my Samsung phone looks like this, right? So whenever you open O Launcher, which as you can see is right here, I'm just gonna click on that and below is gonna say set as default launcher. And now I can just select it and press always. And now that's just gonna be my new default launcher. All right, so once you have a launcher, if you hold and press somewhere in the top part of the screen, you can actually have something where you can have a daily new wallpaper or you can control the wallpaper yourself just by going to your photos and setting that photo as a wallpaper. And then in here, you can also decide different gestures. Now, let me just show you right now, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have the eight app set up. So if I just select, for instance, the one in the middle right here with the three dots, that opens my settings. How did I set that up? Hold and press on it. And then I can just decide what app I want to set up. As you can see, by default, it just gives you the text of that application. But if you hold and press that, you can actually rename it to whatever you want. And you can just click rename. And now that takes me to my settings. You know, you can do that for any of these. So if you just go to one of these blank ones that haven't been assigned yet, I can, for instance, just decide on Spotify, select that. And if I want to, I can just leave it as Spotify or I can actually just rename it into whatever I want. I like using this symbol because it's pretty fun. It looks like a play button. And there you go. And now when I click on that, that's going to open Spotify, right? A couple of extra cool features is if you go to the very top and you click on the date, that should open your calendar. I have it set up with Google Calendar with a sample calendar just to show you. If you click on the time, that will take you to your clock application or where you, wherever you have like for instance alarms or whatever but by far one of my favorite features just being able to quickly and very in a minimalist text-based way you can just search for whatever application you're looking for so you can just scroll up and if i just start typing notion whenever that matches notion it's just gonna open up that application right i can just close that for now and there we go you can also do things such as the gestures that i was showing you at the beginning so if you scroll down you can see that if i swipe left you know right there <laughs> if I swipe left, it opens a calculator. If I swipe right, it opens a camera, right? So yeah, whenever I just swipe one of those directions, it's just going to open that specific app, which is really cool. Now, when it comes to the background, in my case, I'm just going to go to my gallery where I have some of the wallpapers that I enjoy the most that I really like. So for instance, let's set this one as wallpaper. And because it's way more contrasted, you're going to be able to see the difference. So let's just set this as wallpaper. There we go. I'm going to exit out of that. And as you can see, now the text is black and you can see it pretty nice. But of course, this might just burn your eyelids. So it's up to you, whatever you prefer. As you can see in here, if the theme is dark, you won't be able to see that. So, you know, just play with things. Definitely try to find the right wallpaper for what you need because, you know, it's really going to depend. Back to my wallpapers, you can see that this is the original wallpaper that I'm using, but I actually edited a little more to actually contrast because if we set this one up. So, yeah, let's set that one. As you can see, of course, I need to change the theme to be in dark so that it looks a bit better. But in my opinion, if I go to my photos and edit it a little bit, then this might contrast a bit more. So yeah, there you go. That's how you change that. Definitely keep an eye. Some wallpapers work better than others. Some you might have to edit a little just to look a bit better. Cool, so that should cover O Launcher. Now, next thing that I use quite a lot is this nice little rocket that I have in there. <laughs> so if I press it, it opens this. I also have another shortcut where if I just hold from the bottom of the screen, instead of my voice assistant, it just opened this. Here's where I can add tasks to my task manager. So like, 
So do something productive, done. That sends it to my test manager. It can have little widgets like that. And yeah, that's pretty nice. So if you want to actually set something like this up, for me, it's like a nice way to access more apps quickly. Uh, that is with something called, let me show you, this one is called Home Button Launcher. So definitely check it out. It allows you to do things like that. And I think it's pretty cool. So again, you just like go like that and you have access to more apps and you can actually add or remove certain ones. You can sort them, you know, reorganize them if you want to just have this one below or whatever, right? So yeah, these are some go-to apps that I actually want to access from anywhere. So say you are on YouTube, for instance, and you want to add, you know, for instance, in my case, my task, I just go up and I can access all of these apps from here, or I can create a task from here, which is really cool. I just click done, that is sent to my task application, which is amazing Marvin, in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so this next one is just being able to scroll from the left of the screen and actually being able to access more applications. Here, for instance, I have my app that controls the lights, which is pretty cool. And I can just access these apps from the sidebar, which is pretty nice. I can also access a couple of other things, such as a, a torch, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so, you know, this might vary. This came with my Samsung phone, but if you do not have a Samsung phone, you actually might be able to, to use this other one called Edge Screen. So definitely check it out because this kind of adapts the same idea, but for other Android brands in case, you know, it doesn't work with you by default. It's nice. I actually love it. And if you have a Samsung setup, you can actually just search for Edge, Edge Panel in the settings right here. This one right there and that should just let you modify how this thing works and you can always just like add or replace different applications so if you want to remove one of these ones for instance you can always add any of your other applications in here which is pretty cool so yeah let's just say we want to put discord in there there you go and now we have discord at the very top right that's how it works there you go and last but not least what is the keyboard that i'm actually using you know because if i open obsidian where is like where I take my notes, you know, and I just want to type something. As you can see, I have this really weird keyboard, right? And this for me, like, is a really nice way to type faster as well as be a bit of a hipster. And just like, it's always a nice little novelty to have. Like when you're with a group of friends, people always ask me like, hey, what is going on with your phone? You know, like, <laughs> and it's pretty interesting. You know, are you doing like, it, take, it took me a week to learn it, but I actually really love it. It's a nice way to type with one hand. Believe it or not, this is a nice way to not be glued on your phone like this. It's actually nice to be able to type and not actually bend your neck like crazy. I don't know. For me, it's pretty nice. I love it. You also have a couple of different features, such as like if you select this, you can copy by scrolling up on this little section and you can just paste things by scrolling down on these little icons. I mean, I could definitely dig deeper if you want me to, because, you know, it has a couple of things to get used to. Uh, but this is basically what it is. And it, uh, it's actually called Messages Keyboard. It's really cool. Actually, it was designed with the idea of being able to type on a smartwatch. I don't have a smartwatch to test it in, like, but like the idea is that you can actually type with one finger with very few keys, because if you take a look at it, it's just a few keys, you know, like it's, it's very simple, like the m most important letters or like the ones that are more frequently used are in the center and everything that you, every other letter, for instance, like the U is from the center going up, you know, or the D is center going down and stuff like that. It can definitely feel daunting, definitely feel complicated, but I think it's really cool. You can also customize the colors and stuff like that. So it's pretty nice. I love it. So there you go. There you have it. Those are some of my favorite apps to make Android look real aesthetic and also just being able to actually find things and actually navigate through your phone in an enjoyable way. So if you have any questions or you want to expand on topics like this, definitely make sure to join my live stream. I stream here on YouTube. I have a link below to my schedule of live streams. You can also add it to your Google Calendar, which is something really cool to help you just keep track of them in case they change it. And it also shows you in your time zone, which is pretty nice, right? The live stream is definitely the best place where we can keep this conversation going and any questions you might have. So definitely make sure to join it. And with that, I hope to see you soon and hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye. See ya.